All right, good evening, everyone. It's been a long time since I did a video, so uh, I figured I'd show off a few things. Uh, latest acquisition starting here. Uh, this is a Atlas GP38 with Lock Sound 5. I don't have the sound turned on, but um, I bought two of these. Uh, the other one's over there. Um, I got these at auction in Winnipeg, and I got a pretty good price for them. So I think the plan for that is to sell the shell and get a GP20 Eco um, shell kit and build that and put it on top of the chassis. Um, so that's the plan for that. Then I've been buying some uh, well cars and weathering them up. So there's a 40 foot from Walters. Um, these ones are nice because they're metal and they track well. Um, this one actually has the see-through walkways. Um, so that's a step up from the first one there. And then I got three of these, so I've weathered those up. I had the 53 footer, so I've done a few things to that. I um, added my own wire mesh on the sides, and I did all the uh, I did all the end details on all of them, so they've all got extra stuff going on. Um, and there's the dirtiest one I did. And then I started weathering a bunch of box cars, the 60 foot auto parts cars. So here's another one. Here's the first one. Um, and the door's open and everything. I did the interior as well. Oops. Hold on a second. Okay, here's the second one I did. That one's a little bit more dirty. Uh, the roof got a bit more play as well. And there's the roof on the other one. And then this is actually the first of the boxcars I did. The uh, difference here was that I did an oil wash on the exterior. And then I just finished these guys. Oh, they are short somewhere. Oh, man. So I just paused on these because I want to show these off. These are the latest I've done. Um, the steel road was doing some gondolas today, gondola loads. And I just thought it was kind of funny that I was working on gondolas as well. So I figured uh, I'd do my video. Uh, he told me to, so I am. Um, but here's the two that I was working on. So this is, uh, these are both Atlas um, train man gondolas. And I didn't bother doing any of the, um, the steps on the side, but I did do uh, replacement stirrups. I still got to do replacement stirrups on this one. I did replace some stirrups, the airline hoses, and the brake detail, and the um, the see-through walkways on both ends. And then, obviously, I mashed the interior to push out the sides. I used a soldering iron and just a screwdriver and pushed out the sides. So you can see the bubbles and the, and the dents and everything else. Um, this guy was already painted and deckled for GTW. Um, so this one was the easier of the two. Um, I did do paint job inside and oils, um, no powders actually. Um, so that's the, the first one there. It's got a little bit of tagging on it, PG4. I'll show both sides. And then this one actually started at a Chicago Northwestern. Same thing. It was an Atlas train man. Um, started, I didn't peel the decals off. I just painted over it. Um, I did the GT, a faded GTW blue. And then I did pop out the sides again with the soldering iron. Um, so that's that GT is not a deco, it's just a ghosted um, white paint job. Um, sorry about my voice, I got COVID. <laughs> anyway, um, almost, hopefully almost over it, but yeah, it just keeps dragging on. Um, so yeah, this is actually a prototypical um, uh, GTW gondola as seen in Ontario and this one I don't think was this is just my imagination but this one um, I tried to copy as best as I could so it does have some tagging and it's got the big I think it's Faust I don't know who that person is but anyway it does have that big one on there with uh, orange and flaming background so um, I guess I'll show the other sides here of these guys not that much interesting, but I did throw some graffiti on there and the scratches actually, you can really see the scratches now. So 
So these guys would have been used for scrap metal. Um, what I'm going to use them for is moving uh, slab steel from Nanocoke to um, the processors, the rolling mills in Hamilton. So they, they put two slabs, one on that end, one on that end. Um, these are pretty massive slabs of steel uh, that come from the, the plant in Nanocoke. And then they get rolled in Hamilton and turned into steel coils. So they have a lot of nasty gondolas transporting these things. And I figured, you know, let's, uh, let's get on that bandwagon. So, and GTW, there are some GTWs in the mix as well as Canadian National. So there's this side and I'll just show you the other side of this one. This was a, another prototypical gondola, but obviously not the same one. I couldn't find photos of the other one. So this is from another gondola. I just changed the number to 148113. Um, but this, this graffiti is seen on another one. Um, anyway, um, I figured I would just replicate that. Now this is my first go at painting graffiti. Um, so bias is painted. This memo jambo thing is done using a white pencil crayon. Um, what else did I paint? Um, nothing else really, but this one was in really rough shape. Um, it had, uh, lots of layers of grime on it. So I just kind of mimicked that. And the only thing that's really GTW blue is this corner here <laughs> and it's faded as well. Um, so the ends have been done. I'll just throw that back there if you can see it. The ends have been done. And I did redecal everything here as well. That took a long time. Um, and then the interiors, again, they'll just have slab steel in them. I think I'll leave it loose. They do have some good weight to them. Um, and then the last thing, I went to the train show in Ancaster, and I picked up these two. So these are my first um, Atherin Genesis tankers. And so they have the rotating and bearing caps. And I've uh, always wanted to just check out the detail on these things, so I put my uh, shelf couplers on there. Those are the scale shelf couplers. And I'm going to be doing some weathering on these as well. So these are the molten sulfur cars, so they'll get the uh, yellow splatter. Anyway, um, that's what I've been up to for the past wee while. But uh, really proud of these GTW ones. I really like how they turned out. Um, and I'll probably end up doing a couple more because I've got lots of gondolas that I haven't touched yet. So we'll see. We'll see what I switch to next. But um, yeah, I've had to, probably done about 12 cars in the last couple months. And, uh, yeah, I'll decide what I'm going to do with them, whether I'm going to keep them or sell them. But, uh, for these two here, I think, uh, I think I really like how they turned out and they, I don't think I can replicate these again, so I'm going to keep them. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I've been up to. I'm, uh, running off the laptop because I still have not figured out the, uh, the wireless on my, uh, Arduino since I blew it up a couple months ago. Um, anyway. So I haven't really been running trains. I've just been doing a lot of artwork. Anyway, that's that's me. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, my latest. And uh, I'll uh, follow up with another video not too distant future. Have a good evening, guys. Thank you.